I was trying to stay on the budget and I had a hard, hard time in TJ Maxx. back to my channel my name is Kayla if you're new I film beauty lifestyle and travel related videos so if that's something you're into make sure you like comment and subscribe also hit those post notification bells so you always know when I upload a new video make sure you follow me on Instagram at just Kayla Michelle and give me a like on Facebook by the same name so did you notice anything different about today's video I got ads on my video I got ads on my video <laughs> I was so excited this morning so I seen I got the email that I was approved at 1 57 a.m. sorry my phone so many people are just, congratulations I'm getting so many nice messages thank you so much to everybody who said congratulations to me thank you to anybody who has ever supported me thank you to anybody who's ever shared liked commented subscribed told other people about my channel whatever you've done like the picture on instagram anything thank you so if i got to say thank you so much because i'm so beyond grateful that hard work actually paid off because these videos sometimes like from start to finish to record film that's the same thing and edit your video and upload it that takes hours especially with this raggedy xfinity internet i have but that's another story <laughs> but i mean it's amazing so definitely appreciate everybody for tuning in to my channel without further ado let's hop into this video i went to three different stores and surprisingly this was a very affordable hygiene haul i did not spend more than i think 35 dollars to be honest I think but I definitely spent way under $50 so that was a win for me because usually I go a little crazy the first store that I went to was a fail I went to Walmart because on the website it said that they had some tree hut scrubs available so it was about 8 30 in the morning I ran and there was none so I don't know what the stock is I don't know if they just don't update the stock or what's going on but eventually i'm just gonna go to ulta and just say forget it and just have to spend my money because i'm tired of going on this easter egg hunt with walmart and these tree hut scrubs so of course i couldn't just leave empty-handed because i went over there for you know literally no reason down that same aisle that the scrubs were supposed to be at i actually got this equate beauty facial i always say facial first foaming facial cleanser and this is a dupe for the CeraVe foaming facial cleanser so I find that the Quate stuff is really good it's actually the same quality in my opinion to a lot of things and if you just compare the ingredients to different products you'll see that there's not much difference besides the name so that's the tea so I got this to try this out before I commit to getting the actual CeraVe one and it was like two bucks cheaper and I feel like anywhere I can save two dollars so I can get something better I'm all in so the next thing that I got this was actually just a little small travel size item so this is just the Listerine total care six in one benefits and this is in this the flavor fresh mint I thought it was cute because it was purple so I picked it up I've actually never had this one I don't know if it's the same as the blue like the original like um, blue green I'm not really sure but I picked this up just to see because I like to try travel size items and things that I've never had before when I can that is <laughs> so I just picked that up because right now I am using that Listerine coconut lime which I do like but I also like to just have regular flavors as well I like to have fun but I like to still bring it back to the traditional items you know so the next store that I went to was Big Lots because I've been seeing a lot of people have a lot of good luck with Big Lots my Big Lots store did not seem as exciting I don't know people make things look so exciting on these videos and then I get there and it's like <laughs> sucks but I mean it was okay it just wasn't you know that razzle dazzle I was looking for the first item in this bag this is not literally fun at all but <laughs> I literally just picked up some big lots toilet paper it said compare to angel soft and I picked this up because I think it was only two or three dollars for a four pack so you know it's just me and my daughter sharing a bathroom so I just got the little four pack and it says it's comparable to angel soft so whatever and i actually found that because i was looking down the clearance aisle which was a mess 
it was crazy but turn around and send the toilet paper pick it up the next item that i picked up so i went down like the room spray laundry detergent air freshener type of aisle so i did see that they had these big old room sprays and this is in the scent coconut dream and the fragrance notes are coconut water sunkissed citrus and fresh air and this is six ounces so i picked this up because as you know we got we love those bath and body works room sprays or concentrated room sprays and i just wanted to see if this was comparable because it's a big canister and it seems like it's concentrated as well i have no idea what it smells like that was a big spray okay it's a nice fresh coconut scent what's crazy is though i i, I think i'm just gonna use this for like bathroom spray but i think the bath and body works uh little spurries pack a bigger punch than this but this was only three dollars and i think for the amount you get and only paying three dollars i think that's a pretty good deal so i picked this up so next i thought this was really neat so i picked up the caress botanicals lotus and red clay soap bar and this was only a dollar 75 still a little a little much for one bar of soap but i thought this was fancy looking and it has like paper packaging which i'm all for the aesthetic i love a freaking nice package so i picked this up and this actually smells really good i can't tell you if it smells like a lotus flower or not but it has a nice um like fresh and sweet scent to it and i just thought it was fancy so i picked it up so you know we'll see how that works out and the last item i got from big lots so the other day i was watching living ashes video and she was talking about the yardly body washes in her haul and i just wanted to try them out because i like the yardly bar soaps so this one that really caught my eye is the honey almond and oatmeal because i love me all three of those scents honey almond and oatmeal i love those scents so i picked this up and this smells so good it's like a warm but fresh scent at the same time it does smell really almondy and it's really calming to me this is a really calming scent and i have a couple of oatmeal scented bars 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 bar soap so i picked this up to go ahead and go with that because that smelled really good the other ones i wasn't really that impressed with but that was my favorite oh my goodness quick story when i was in walmart i seen a soft soap body wash and it was in the silk it was in the scent milk and honey it smelled so putrid it smelled like spoiled milk and honey it was one of the nastiest body care scents i've ever smelled i don't know what was up with that and i almost blind bought it but something told me to go ahead and sniff it beforehand and i'm glad i did because that stuff was nasty it was nasty Ugh. and that was in walmart that store i went to was tj maxx and i did not go him and i will say there was i had a because i was trying to stay on the budget and i had a hard hard time in tj maxx there was this body butter and it was coconut and it was in a wooden container it was so adorable but it was 9.99 and i was like kayla do you really need this or do you just want to add it to your collection and of course i just wanted to add it to my collection and in my head i felt like i needed it but i didn't get it i passed it up because i already had an item that was 9.99 and i had to pick between those two so i picked the one that i was actually out of and that is this becca hydromis setting powder bruh if y'all have never tried this and you like makeup you are in for a great experience if you try this i first got this in a boxy charm probably two years ago and i have not turned back since what i really love is the fact that these are in tj maxx for 9.99 and these sell at sephora for i think about 18 dollars eight between 18 to 20 dollars you cannot beat this like whenever i see this i pick it up and i really should have gotten two because it's rare that i see these but when you put this on your face it, it's kind of a shock when you first use it because it feels wet on your face like it feels like you're putting water on your face and it feels like you're going to ruin your makeup but then it turns into like this powder it's all it's, it's already powder but then it just gives you the, the, the most dreamy matte look like you look like you have a freaking filter on your face when you use this and this is called becca hydra mist set and refresh powder so if you can't find this in tj maxx 
I highly feel like it's worth it to get this from Sephora because I have had to get this from Sephora from not finding this in TJ Maxx. And hopefully this weekend I can find some more because when I run out of these, I'm sad. This is my favorite setting powder. Besides the Laura Mercier, this is number one. Laura Mercier is number two. Next was something I have never tried before. And this is chocolate banana baking powder. And I don't even know the brand. Oh, Revolution. So yeah, I picked this up because it was on clearance and it was $2. And it said it's scented chocolate and banana. So I thought that was interesting. I'm just gonna go ahead and just mutilate this box because so that other powder is more of like an all over setting powder. I don't use that to bake. I use it to set my whole face. This is something I would use for my under eye because it is banana powder. And I like a light under eye. Like I know a lot of people think that's so like 2015 and earlier, but I like a light under eye. I don't know, but it seems very faint for now. So we'll see how it, it, how it performs and I actually put it on my face. But look at this packaging. This is so adorable. I think that's so cute. So I picked this up because I am out of under eye powder because I did use up all my Lori, Lori, Lord Mercy A setting powder that I like to use under my eyes. Next was another find that I could not walk away without getting. I was very excited about this. So this is the Dove Care and Protect Antibacterial Hand Cream. I feel like this will be a game changer because that hand sanitizer has been ripping my hands apart. It has been tearing me up. I have been having dry, cracked hands, looking like a witch or something out here, but I cannot wait to use this. And this was only $2.99, so I definitely had to pick this up. I've seen people talk about it, and I feel like it was a unicorn in the store, and they had a whole bunch of them. Um, I think Vaseline. It may have been Vaseline, I'm not quite sure, that also had some, but it was a dollar more, so I passed it up. But I am happy to know that there are actually antibacterial hand creams, so we don't just have to keep being ashy while trying to protect ourselves against these germs. So, cannot wait to put that to use. And the last item, I was so happy. Anytime I see this brand in the store, I'm picking it up because it is rare, it's a unicorn, they often don't get a lot. So. I actually got a Body Shop Japanese Matcha Tea Pollution Clearing Mask. So this is a face mask and it's pretty much like a detox type of face mask. So that's what that looks like. It's really cute, really aesthetic, really sleek. And I do actually have another green tea detox mask that I'm gonna show you in the video tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. It doesn't really have much of a scent, which is okay but I really like tea scented things and I like green um, skincare. Green skincare for some reason just makes me feel like I'm really doing something and it's really nice and clean. So I cannot wait to use that. And this was only seven, what, how much was this? $6.99. And this is a really glass and sturdy container. So the packaging alone feels expensive. That was my little affordable body care haul. I didn't get too much because I don't need too much. And I'm trying to save my money a little bit because when SAS comes, I am going ham. I'm going crazy at the Bath and Body Works SAS. I will be going multiple days in a row and then I'll be going again in the winter time. So I have begun decluttering my room to make more space for my items. So this is a three day project. project. I'm on day two, but I did a really good job of decluttering things to make more space because <laughs> I need space to put all my stuff. So that will end today's video guys i hope you like this video if you want to see more videos like this make sure you comment down below make sure you like and subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye guys